Hey everyone, it's Donald. We got this new September 2022 Harvey Stripe freeze dryer, large size. Just picked it up a couple of days ago from Sportsman's Warehouse. Um, but I have not opened it up yet. I have not done the Felix fix. I have not done anything. But today I want to show you guys removing the panels from this Harvest Stripe freeze dryer. So first things first, grab your screwdriver or uh, what is this exactly? It's a hex. And probably not the best thing to do is use my teeth, but. One eighth inch. So get that. I use this, I put on a low torque. Uh, that way we don't have a chance to break anything. First one I'm gonna do. I do do two top screws inside on the screen here. You will see that this right here should should I say release this screen. That's what it was actually put in here for. Is to make it easier to replace items that are in here. So obviously you see it's not the easy thing just to pull out but it's put in here so that way you can actually replace the items however I will say you can't pull all the way out because there's parts of the machine that are we might be able to let's see nope there's parts of the machine that are keeping it from doing that so while a good uh, idea um, I would put this as a fail. So, um, it will not pull out. There's parts that are too big to actually reach in through here, no matter how you move them around. So, looks like if we want to replace stuff, unless if the newer models that uh, are coming out have that fixed, not going to work. So, looks like someone was pain in the butt to kind of put this back in place even. So, that being said, try not to lose any screws. We have those two that will come out. And then, if you want to know what model your year, uh, what, when it was manufactured, that being said, Harvest Drive will just print off new ones um, if they redo it, whatever. So let's undo all the screws that are back here. That uh, last one comes out, and this will just come off like this. Set it over to the side. Along with the screws. Next you'll do, if you have the extender, it makes life a lot easier. I'm not gonna take this one off. If you do what did, you would do this screw, and there's a screw up in the top. However, all the fixes we do don't require it to come off, unless if you're maybe cleaning the, um, Condenser over there. Uh, so we're not going to take that part off actually. 
on the English power on. Set that aside. I'm gonna put that back on in a second. So I'm gonna set those screws right there. There's another one right here on the side. We'll undo that one. This top, remember we already did the screws up here. This top, this one pulls out like this. So give a little force, pull it out. So this right here is what was blocking it from actually coming out. So um, just set that there. There's, I'm gonna break the machine probably if I move it around. There's one screw behind the screen here that will come out. And then you'll see this right here, just pull out. And we'll put the power back on so we can do our testing. So just take these screws here. You can just really hand tighten them in here. This way we still have an opportunity to do all the testing we want to do after we do the Felix fix or if we're checking for leaks. So we now have our machine taken apart the way we need to in order to do the Felix fix type stuff. You can put this back in here. There's a little um, spot that it just goes and it will hold in. So uh, if this helps you out, like, subscribe to the page. This is a newer model. People were asking for it. So I went out and actually purchased one so we could get the newer videos. So hope this helps you guys out. You guys take care. Have a great day.